Learning how to make and use zucchini flour and other greens powders is like unlocking a magic door to healthier eating, since you can incorporate them into countless recipes. Making veggie powders is also a great way to use up an overabundant garden haul or quickly repurpose veggies that would otherwise go to waste. Even overgrown greens, such as these bolted spinach plants, make excellent greens powder. The next time your spring mix or salad blend starts to wilt faster than you can eat it, turn it into greens powder. In this video, you'll learn how to make a super greens powder and zucchini flour by using a dehydrator as well as an oven. And you could follow the procedures to make any type of veggie or greens powder you'd like. At the end, I'll suggest some delicious and easy ways to use veggie powders in different dishes. The benefit to having veggie powders on hand is that they're in a dry state that can easily be mixed into almost any food or recipe without adding more water. Maybe you've dabbled in ways to add shredded zucchini to various dishes, and this works great if the recipe requires all that moisture that comes with it. Here's an average size zucchini that has been made into zucchini flour. Veggie powders are highly concentrated veggie goodness, and so just a few spoonfuls go a long way to add nutrients to your favorite dishes without adding a drop of extra water. To reach this bone dry flour-like state, I recommend using a food dehydrator. There's a mix of greens on this platter that I'll dehydrate and blend together to create a super greens powder. I have a micro carrot and beet saved from thinning out the garden, some spinach, bok choy, dandelion greens, Greek oregano, and last, there's a flowering young snap pea plant. You can use any of your favorite veggies, leaves, and herbs to create a greens powder. Experiment with different veggies to see what flavors you like the best. Dehydrators work differently, and I'll be using an Instant Pot Duo Crisp to dehydrate these greens. This model dries food on the top and sides more quickly. This batch of veggies was fully dehydrated in 5 hours at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're making zucchini flour, it helps to slice the zucchini very thinly before dehydrating. Veggies like zucchini and beets will take longer to fully dry out. Your veggies are ready to grind into a powder when they're completely stiff. They should snap and break into pieces without bending. If you don't have a dehydrator, you can also use an oven to make greens powder or zucchini flour. Although, I don't recommend it since this method takes a lot longer, up to two days or more. Grate watery veggies like zucchini and place it in a single layer on a parchment lined baking sheet. Set the oven to the lowest temperature possible. In my case, it was 170 degrees Fahrenheit and place the veggies to be dried inside. Then wait until the oven has reached temperature before turning it off while leaving the veggies inside the now warmed oven. Repeat this process every hour or whenever you think about it, stirring the veggies every few hours. Continue this process until the veggies are completely bone dry. Now that you have dehydrated greens or veggies, it's time to make them into a powder or flour. Place them in a blender and grind them until they are a powdery consistency. Let it rest for a minute before opening the blender to avoid releasing a cloud of veggie powder. Store veggie powders at room temperature in an airtight container. Try adding it to stir fry, pasta, soup, and we especially love adding super greens powder to our homemade chicken nuggets. And zucchini flour can behave and taste just like wheat flour. We've had success replacing up to half of the wheat flour in a recipe with zucchini flour to make things like egg pasta and zucchini flour blueberry pancakes. I hope we've inspired you to make your own veggie powders to use in your favorite recipes. The possibilities are endless. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel Say Why Chicken Thigh to see what we come up with next. Thanks for watching and enjoy your veggies!